Hey guys, this is Joy back again with another video. Um, so today I wanted to do a part two to my experience with narcissists because I saw that I did get like a little bit more views than my um <clears throat> Wednesday Wednesdays. But um, since I am gonna be a counselor for narcissistic abuse, I just wanted to kind of go a little bit more into like how the romantic side of the um, narcissist that I dealt with, and I guess you would kind of call it like a situation shift because it was really I don't know, wasn't that pleasant. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so in the beginning, um, when I met the, and again, I'm not going to mention their names, but, um, let me say, that, like, the first person that I talked to or whatever, that was, like, for, for I guess it was kind of, like, off and on for, like, four years. And everything was great. Um, <clears throat> I had actually met him on Twitter, and, um, I was in, I was doing music with him, and, um, he's a music producer, and, um, yeah, I just, I wasn't thinking much of it. I was just kind of like, oh, like, he was just someone that was just helping me get knowledge about music production, kind of like a mentor or whatever. But I guess just, like, over time, things just kind of change, and I guess I was the one that caught feelings because in the end, you know, a lot of narcissists, they don't really care about you. So it was just kind of like, oh, wow, like, you know, I, he didn't care. But, um... <clears throat> Yeah, so, um, yeah, just over time, and the, uh, the, the, uh, I guess the fr friendship, relationship, but I don't even know what to call it, but I just kind of noticed that he would say things to me that wasn't the nicest, and I just kind of, like, shrugged it off, because I guess I was so used to, um, having a toxic situation, or being around toxic people, because when I lived with my aunt, you know, that was normal for me, I lived with her for five years, so, of course, when someone romantically comes along and they kind of treat me like that I just saw that as like a normal thing so I didn't think much of it so um yeah so there was just be like little incidents when I just noticed that like he would say something that wasn't so nice but I just kind of ignored it but you know um as but one of the things that was a red flag and I didn't really know because at the time I was so much younger um, the relationship did kind of move a little fast, and I noticed that he was, he gave me this piano, like this gift, and I, I was just thinking that he was doing it out of the kindness of his heart. I wasn't thinking that he was doing it as a manipulation tactic so he could use it against me, which is what narcissists do. And so, um, yeah, I just kind of took it with a grain of salt, but as time and time went on, you know, I noticed that he would contact me at times just to kind of like so-called check in or whatever pretending like he cared and um yeah it was just it was interesting and um I remember one time he called and he he asked me like where who I was with where I was going all this stuff and I just in my mind I didn't say anything but I was thinking like wow like why would he care because it wasn't like he was actually asking to come and see me he was just like being really like possessive over me and that that should have been a red flag but again I just was like whatever so um yeah just and now that I look back um there would be times also I remember when um I think I had asked I was like oh did you want to like hang out or go to a movie or something like that because there would be times like where I wouldn't even hear from him it'd be like weeks or like a month or so and I was just contemplating like oh like hey like would you want to hang out or whatever we, went, we were going to a movie and I ended up meeting him at his place where he was at he was in the studio and then I was like oh what movie did you want to see he was like I don't know like we'll figure it out or something like that <clears throat> and then when we went to the movies I remember um saying like oh are you gonna pay he was like why would I pay for it or something like that just something like really mean like, it was just really really weird but um yeah that's what narcissists do they really are really detached they don't really care um and what kind of just made me say like okay this is weird like I'm done was I guess it was kind of like the final grand finale or whatever um, when I eventually ended up getting my own apartment, um, I remember, like, he was, he pretended like he was, like, there for me, supporting me, and, like, there, 
But what happened was the day that I contacted him and let him know, like, oh, guess what? I have my place or whatever. Like, you should come through. Da, da, da. I remember um, I went on his Facebook and I saw that he was in a relationship. And I was just kind of like, okay, like, all this time you was with someone you didn't even tell me. Because all along he was telling me that he was looking for someone like me and that he saw something in me or something like it was just re like basically like leading me on and then at the end just basically going with someone else you know and that's just like a waste of time that was almost for like four years <clears throat> so you know like but and, and again you know I'm really grateful because I, I really did learn a lot from the situation I understood like you know I don't want someone like that in my life because they're gonna lie and not tell me like what it was I mean because in the beginning he did say when I first first met him, he so he told me that he had a girlfriend and like I said I was young I didn't know and I thought that I could change someone you know and that's a lesson for all of my viewers you cannot change anyone guys or girls men or women you cannot change anybody however you meet them that's who they are unless they really want to change then they will change if not then don't do it <laughs> it's just a heartbreak waiting to happen so um so yeah, that was that. And then so what I should have done when I first met him and I saw like what he was, I should have just cut it off. But I was just around him. I was just, I don't I guess I thought like he was a friend, but narcissists, they don't have friends. They have fans, you know, so. Um, so yeah, that was his situation. And like I said, with that, um, I found out that he had someone and then he still wanted to come over and I'm just like, no, I'm good. Like, I just kind of cut it off because I, I, that's not what I want. I wanted to be with just one person, not have somebody and then share it, you know, but narcissists can't be with one person. They have to have multiple, um, relationships anyway. So no. And the second guy, this was, like I said, this one was a little bit more hurtful because like I said, I gave myself to him, and yeah, he really played me pretty bad. <laughs> it was really, really hurtful. Um, with this, it was just more so, I think it was a little bit more sloppier, because this first person, he was all like, you know, it was a little bit more tactful and more um, thought out well, but with the second person it was just more so it was really sloppy like so what ended up happening I ended up meeting him at work um he was really cool he was really funny very charming and um just all over everybody I mean you know nice looking or whatever everybody was like all on him or whatever and um I was just kind of like oh hey like you know he started talking to me and um, I gave him my number long story short and uh yeah we just was kind of in contact and um and then we just kind of like out of nowhere I'm gonna grab one of my little snacks <laughs> I kind of feel like I need to only eat one so and, um, hopefully you guys don't mind is this hope it's not ghetto <laughs> but um <clears throat> so yeah um yeah we were like in because the job that um I had got hired at that was like that same day that we exchanged numbers and yeah we were just like kind of talking to each other and just getting to know each other and he had told me that he had just kind of got out of a situation with um his ex and um you know that he was just going through it and I was like oh okay yeah I understand like you know because I had I mean not that I was like really in a relationship with that past guy it was just more I, I guess a situation whatever <clears throat> or a manipulation <laughs> And, um, yeah, so I was very understanding. I was there for him. And like I said, I had my own place at the time. And I think he didn't really have any, he was kind of staying like me, I guess, at a friend's house. I don't know. And so I allowed him into my place. And, um, yeah, I, I thought that, you know, he was cool and genuine just like myself. But again, that's what narcissists do. They're very conniving, manipulative, and very, um, condescending. And, um, yeah, so I kind of noticed the little things while at work. Um, yeah, I noticed that he was kind of like flirty with a lot of the girls and well, not just the girls, but just like kind of just around everybody and yeah. And then I remember one time we were because we would eat lunch every day together. That was kind of like our routine. And I remember one time he was like, "Oh, well, you know, um, I would like for you to be my girlfriend, but..." Uh, I still would want to flirt with the girls, and I know that there are some girls that would accept that, but my thing, I was just like, um, I didn't say anything, 
but I was just thinking like mm, I wasn't really for that and again this is why a lot of my viewers guys or girls when someone tells you who they are you really have to like listen to them and believe them because that's what it is and so yeah so that was that and then um so yeah, as time kind of went on, I just kind of noticed like little things like I would tell, I told him like something personal that I didn't think he would like go off and say anything and then he would kind of use that against me like just randomly like just bring something up to say, say that was kind of like a jab, like kind of hurtful, you know, but he just kind of laughed or whatever. So I was just kind of like that wasn't really that nice and I think uh, also... We also had a manager that we all worked with. Um, I'm not going to say his name either. Because um, like I said, I'm not here to put anybody's names out. I'm just, I want to share my experience because this will help anybody else that has gone through anything similar. Kind of get over and understand that it's not you, it's the other person. And so, yeah, I noticed that this guy, he was, well, the, um, the manager, I, he became friends with this guy that I was talking to. And I noticed that like, whenever we would like be around, he would kind of like try to break up what we had going on or kind of interfere or be like a third wheel, but kind of like turn it around and make me a third wheel. Like I was in the way, but me and the guy, we were kind of talking first. So it was really weird. And then I noticed that like, they became like really, really good friends. And then I was just kind of like, I didn't like the guy. And I noticed I was like, well, why is he hanging out with him? Is he kind of similar? So that should have been a red flag. And two other red flags was when on Valentine's Day last year, um, we went to the movies and it was cool. We had a good time. Well, I thought we had a good time, but in his mind, he was probably plotting and planning something else. But um, yeah, so I think he sees one of his um, friends from high school and he says, um, like he's like saying hi to him and this and this and that. And then um, he ends up saying like, oh, so how's everything going? This is now you have any kids? And he's all like, oh, yeah, like I have a, a son and I have a daughter. And this and that. And in my mind, I'm like, wait, what? You have a daughter? Because I didn't know that he had a, a daughter. I just knew that he had a son. So I was just like kind of confused. I was like, why wouldn't he tell me that? Wouldn't that be important, you know? And then I remember I asked him and I was like, oh, well, why don't you have why didn't you tell me that you had a daughter, you know, and he was just like, oh, I was scared that you was gonna, like, say something, but really, he didn't care, because he didn't see me as somebody that he was gonna, like, be with for a long time, I was just a temporary supply, whatever, so, should have took that into consideration and just kind of let it go, but I was just like, oh, no, let me just see, and I think what did it for me, though, um, uh like we were eating out somewhere and he randomly because i didn't do anything but you know a lot of narcissists they have a lot of rage and um just envy and just really hateful and um yeah i was just i was just over it and then um again i don't know where i was just this discarded he didn't even tell me i actually seen like something someone told me about something on the internet and I looked at it, I was like oh wow like he didn't even say anything to me so you know they really they have no remorse they can care less about how you feel it's all about them and um yeah I mean that's that was my experience and I, like I said I'm just here to share it with you guys because I mean if I can get through it and I'm still healing like I said not all the way healed but I'll it's gonna be okay you know um it's just it's really hurtful, um, but that's just, it. and for me, I've just accepted that, you know, I'll never get closure, I'll never get an apology, it's just that their type of mentality, they just don't care, they are ruthless, they, yeah, so, um, so yeah, thank you for watching this video, I'll be coming out with another one, actually a whole bunch more, but yeah, thanks for watching, please be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.